if anyone still needs an invite and I missed you for whatever reason, just go ahead and X up and I'll get you in the raid. I'll uh, be adjusting group shortly. Cal and I will be on in a little bit. I just got in from work. Yeah, no worries. Just X up when you're here. If I miss it, just uh, let me know. Where are we heading tonight? Um, it's going to depend on our force, and we're going to kind of be all over. Okay. Tonight is our intro to Secrets of Phaedwer. We'll do some raids. We'll chat about faction, progression, all that good stuff. If you're looking for uh, faction-based spells that are locked, um, there is a link in the, I believe it's raid information section, uh, that will give you a kind of breakdown class by class of where all of your spells are located. It's very handy. suggestions on getting the factions you need, which is handy as well. They're all tradable as well, so if you need rank twos, look for someone that has the faction. Yeah, and I'll be uh, kind of scouting us around tonight to uh, help people. We'll, we'll do, like I said, like a little uh, swap meet kind of a thing. Beeping, stop purring. My cat is so loud. So we have a lot of feral cats in our neighborhood, and um, we've had this one cat coming by. Must be a fair, looked like it was a kitten, and we named it Chuck because it's. Um, it I thought it was a boy cat. Well, Chuck suddenly 
started getting fatter and fatter and fatter. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's Chuck anymore. It's Bride of Chucky. If we could, let's go ahead and throw some buffs around. Um, feel free to buff. I know it's early, but again, we're going to do things a little bit differently tonight because I have a lot of stuff I want us to do and play around with and see different places and chat about a lot of stuff. So if you just throw some uh, buffs around on everybody. Has anyone completed any of the collections yet? I will explain. Are they actually in game now? Uh, different types of collection. I think you may be thinking of the uh, ground spawn collection type things. Um, I'm actually talking about one of the long form quests that uses a lot of the littler quests. I'll, I'll explain those as we go through tonight. So the cool thing I like about this expansion is there's a lot of new spells, um, and a lot of the spells have some pretty cool effects, or uh, it almost becomes like a little spell mini game that you can play with yourself. For example, uh, druids get a spell that if I get the kill shot, I get a self buff for about a minute that allows me to increase my crit rate. So I kind of have to plan to get the kill shot, and if I do, then I know that I'm going to be able to nuke a lot. Think of it like a uh, gift of mana as well. Most of you have a gift of mana. Um, if you cast a spell, you have a chance that it'll give you the next spell almost for free. And that's when you usually cast your really big mana-intensive spells. So a lot of fun stuff like that. There's a lot of um, procking-type spells. It just other, Things are starting to get really cool. And I think we're going to see some uh, some adjustments. It's going to it's going to really really be fun the way things go from from this expansion and the next one. There will be a little bit of running around tonight. Um, just be prepared for that. We are going to run around a little bit. Some of you already are going to know or have the quest or the um, talking about. That's fine. Just ignore me for that bit. We want to make sure that nobody feels left behind. and want to make sure that everybody uh, kind of knows what's going on in this expansion. But I promise you tonight, I do have some big things for us. Um, I'm hoping we can get some raid loot and some raid spells. Anyone know if there's a merchant that sells invis pots and dragon scale? Uh, it may actually, I don't know that, but it may actually also be from your veteran AA. Uh, with this expansion, we all got a new veteran AA, which is the resupply vendor, which is very nice. It basically opens up a vendor once a day, anywhere you want. It's a little familiar. And you can sell too, of course, that's, that's the best part of it. And one person can open it and everybody can use it. I think next expansion we get a, a banker, which is really nice. Um, could our three rangers let me know that they're here? Coyote, Finlail, and Malaman. Could you just give me a thumbs up or say something and say, let me know you're here?
coyotes here. Could all of you guys uh, random a thousand for me, please? Just the rangers. Gretz Finlow. Druids, I have a druid spell as well. It's not a great one, but it's there. Um, just random 100 if you need that uh, root of floral bulwark. I've got it, Kev. Okay, thank you. Dora, you around? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Uh, did you have that Verita Floral Bulwark rank two? Uh, I was trying to check. I'm um, not sure. I don't think I do. Could you roll? Uh, could you random a hundred for me? Uh, actually, a thousand. Random a thousand for me. Rats dot. Again, if you're just logging on, um, there are a lot of spells in the guild bank. I think I put some Shadow Knight ones in there. There's lots of uh, Cleric ones in there. Check the guild bank. Um, people have been depositing spells, and it's very helpful. I see some mage spells. Some shaman spells as well. So yeah, check it out. We've still got a few minutes before we get started, but again, um, be patient with me tonight if you're already into the expansion a lot and there's already things that you know. Uh, I may repeat myself a little bit for those that show up or just have questions. The goal tonight is twofold. One, to inform everyone and get everyone on the same page with the expansion, progression, what we're doing, why we're doing it, all that fun stuff. Uh, but it's also to have some fun and get some loot. And we want loot. If you could please, let's go ahead and zone into Dragon Scale Hills. You can take the guild portal. It will take you right there to the tower. Um, I'll kind of explain the focuses of Osai uh, in just a second, Lightning. Okay. Hopefully it'll put us all in the same pick. We'll see here in a second. Uh, I think it's gonna split us. Is there anyone here that is uh, ally with Ladies of the Light? Zentil, are you here? Yep, I'm here. 
Okay, so the first thing I want to explain is factions. Now, factions are not required. Uh, there are seven in this expansion that you can kind of keep your eye on. They move pretty quick. Uh, there are various tasks that are um, all over the place that you can do. Uh, but each of the factions does have some spells that are locked behind it. Your 76 through 80 spells, most of them are purchasable. Rank 1s are purchasable from various vendors in each uh, various zones. However, there are a few, usually some of our better um, or kind of more specific spells uh, that are locked behind some of the faction vendors. Uh, if you use the Raspers link in the raid information tab, it's great because it really outlines where each of your spells are. Can't stress that enough that it's it's helped me a lot. Um, I know druids get a great spell that's uh, locked behind several factions. In fact, I'm still missing a few because a lot of us aren't ally yet. Ooh, SK, are you really ally to brownies? Oh my gosh, that's going to be great. I need you to buy me a spell. What you got, Dora? I was going to say, I want one too. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably go around to the camps. The um, the vendor for this is up a couple of uh, steps. If you have a spell that needs to be unlocked by Ladies of the Light faction, uh, Zenthal hopefully will be nice enough to buy it for you, uh, if you could provide him with the plat as well. And again, we're just going to hold here for just a second. We'll be moving. If you've not been in this zone or you're completely brand new to Dragon Scale Hills, and I know there will be some of you, there is a giant robot that roams. Uh, actually, one of the zones is going inside the robot. It's kind of cool because you start in his foot and you go all the way up to his head. It's kind of cool. Um, if you avoid, if you don't avoid the robot, he will kick you and nearly kill you. I believe there are several Wheel of Fists in the uh, bank, if I'm not mistaken. The rank two is Ladies of Light, and it's sold here. The first thing I'm going to have us do, and I know there are going to be a lot of folks trying to get spells and chatting with who's got what faction, and um, SK and Zenthal are probably going to be pretty busy, but I want to make sure everyone at least has the first progression task, and that's the first thing that we're going to do. There are two raid zones in this expansion that we're really going to hit heavily. In order, they are Meldrath's Majestic Mansion, which everyone's going to shorten to MMM. That has a single task that you have to complete to have raid access. Just a single task. It's a long task, but it's a single task. After that, once we get in there and start raiding, then eventually we'll start moving our way into Crystallis, which is the next raid zone. It also has one single task for progression in there. Again, the first part of this raid tonight, if you'll just bear with me for those that are already a step ahead of me, let me get everybody caught up, and then I promise you we're going to do some fun raid stuff. Just give me about 15 minutes. The first task that everyone should have at this point is the search for the ultimate story. If you don't have that, or you are new, from the tower that we are currently located in, if you'll come southeast through the pass, there's a little gnome. This expansion is all about gnomes. Filthy, dirty gnomes. What? You heard me. There's an NPC named Gimblefix over here that'll give you the search for the ultimate story. Ah, uh, good old Gimblefix. Just a, a quick note on that. For each of those two progression tasks, one for MMM, one for Crystallis, halfway through it, you're going to get access to the group version of the zone. The intel Once you finish all of the uh, quests, you'll get access to the raid version. I know some of you have already had um, group access to MMM and Crystallis, and grats on that. Keep it up. Many of you already have this task. It's okay if you do. It's called the Search for the Ultimate Story. Just check your uh, quest journal. 
Uh, make sure you have the quest for the ultimate uh, story. Sorry. Hey, SK, where's the Brownie Rebels vendor? Is he far southwest? He's in the Steamworks. Okay, thank you. That's all I need to know. Before I move any further, is there anyone that is confused or still doesn't know what we're doing or doesn't know how to get that task? The search for the ultimate story. For those that have used our spreadsheets in the, in the past, I've created a whole new spreadsheet. Some of you have already used that and completed up to the group version. Fantastic. You're welcome to use it again, or you can just follow along with this one simple task that will track your progression. I created the spreadsheet just because I know some of you are fans, and it also helps us to track the uh, the raid pieces. Okay, so to get it from Gimbal Flip, Fitz? Uh, yes, uh, I think, what's the phrase? A deal, I think, is the phrase that allows it to get? Remember, there's a 30 quest limit, so if you're at 30, you may need to drop one. I only have 11. Just check your quest journal and make sure you're scrolling down and looking through it. The search for the ultimate story is the one you're looking for. See if you already have it. Uh, I only have 11. I see all of them, and I don't see it. Make sure you're not in biz. Uh, hail him and go through his text and just make sure you uh, hit the right words there. I think it's either I deal the... or willing to, I'm unsure. It's a deal. In addition, uh, while Claire is, um, while we see if Claire can get that task, in addition to not only having some spells locked behind faction, of which there are seven different ones, not all of you need to unlock all the factions. Some of the um, melee classes only need to unlock skills from a couple of different ones. But there are also things uh, called these faceite shards. And what they do is they're focus effects uh, that are part of a specific AUG that go into type three AUGs. So for example, uh, druids get one that adds a little bit of an extra heal on top of the base heal of a specific spell that they have. Um, it only fits in type threes, and through this expansion, we'll start to acquire some type three AUG uh, gear. Again, they're just little boosts, but a lot of those are also locked behind faction. I believe also there's ornamentations that are locked behind faction. Hi, Clara, if he's not talking to you, um, again, there's a chance that you somehow might be still in biz. Could you just cast a spell on yourself, just a buff or whatever, and then try and talk to him? You may also check that you may only see 11 quests, but make sure that you're not scrolling down to see more than the ones that are just showing in the window. Make sure you don't have it already. I don't remember if I saw an item or the armor, but I saw for a type 15 AUG today. I believe those are the chest emblems, um, which are, oh, they only go into chests and they're really nice items, really nice emblems. Claire, any luck? I found it. The search for the ultimate story. Perfect. All right, I'm not going to spend too much time going into the specifics of that progression quest. It's fairly straightforward. It's loot a couple of items here, turn in, hail, go see a guy, click a thing. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. What I am going to do is I'm going to have us crawl northeast. Please avoid uh, the, uh, the big robot. We are going to head our way to Fort Mech. If we get aggro along the way, please uh, kill it. Currently, we are heading to Fort Mech. If you go north of our current location, and then we'll hang a right. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Kit, I don't know if you are planning on this or not, but before we go to the port to Fort Mech, can you have everybody stare at the wall across from it? Sure. Just to see it in the air. Not You'll bad. see. You obviously haven't looked at the wall. Oh, this might be new to me. I have. Or I don't remember it. I'm standing at the spot on the wall. All in all, you're just another spot. Yes, that has actually the point. A stain? A skid mark? Is that the blood dripping? Yeah. There's a couple skeletons here, too. Okay. Now that we've got our horror uh, fiction in for the day, I do love a good blood-stained mountainside. When this person went live, kid, best shot. When this person went live, if you had Lev on and you went in that thing, it flung you into that wall, and you took 25k. All right, let's go ahead and head into uh, Fort Mech. Don't hit the wall. <laughs> I want you to turn into one of those blood stains. So along the way to get into Fort Mech, um, you're going to have to camp a group mob. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, so I thought we'd hit some of the raid mobs tonight that drop the same piece. So Octa the Collector is up in both instances of this, and I'd like to see if we can take out Octa the Collector. Let's get everybody into Fort Mech and hold here at the entrance, please. So again, just a reiteration, down the road, uh, when you do your progression, there's a group mob that you have to camp, and it drops a prototype decoder that you'll need. I figured if there's a raid mob up and we can do it, and it drops gear as well as those pieces, we might as well do it on a night like tonight. That's one of the raids that I want to hit, but I have another series of raids that I'd like to do after that as well. So here's what we're going to do. When everybody gets into the zone, we're going to crawl a little bit. There are groups that are XPing here, so let's make sure we're being mindful of them, please. Um, one thing I've noticed about this expansion unlocking is it's brought out all the assholes. Let's not become more of the assholes, please. But we see them. They're right here. I didn't say that. I mean, refried's in the channel. Kidding. <laughs> Well, he is the green, and that's just nasty. Again, we are going to crawl together, so if everybody can move to Kit, please. We've moved up just a little bit. want to make sure we get everybody here. Uh, I'll put the banner down, by the way. Again, we're going to crawl and clear as we crawl, uh, but let's try to avoid stilling any groups um, kills. Beep, I'm going to make you main assist if you don't mind. Let's do it. All right, we're going to move southwestish, please. Southwestish, please. This is a giant floating fortress. Um, it used to be part of the uh, Steamfont Mountains, but it took flight. Because us gnomes are smart. Yeah, it's debatable. It's all those levitating crystals the Minotaurs got for them. All right, let's pull those to the raid, please. You should be near Kit. Pull those to the raid. Some of you are out in this giant open area. We'll just kind of reconvene there. Uh, 
Um, does killing these give good faction that we need? There are various factions that are given by some of the mobs, not all of them. For example, a lot of the folks got Ladies of the Light ally because they killed in that robot over and over and over again. Oh, there's a pally spell. Which pallies need that? If you're a pally and you need that spell, if you could please random near kit. By the way, I'm going to mark myself since there's a lot going on here, so you can at least look for my mark. Random a thousand, please, and I'll sign that spell. Raleigh, landholder, anybody that needs that spell, just random a thousand for me real quick, please. Anyone not with us? Didn't see a roll from Raleigh, but if somebody can let me know what it was. Okay, gonna give it to Zinthal. And we're gonna move south, please. South if you could. Striker, striker. Some folks are moving up, and we got fo we got uh, ads here. Make sure you're following Kit, please. You shouldn't be following anyone else but Kit. Is there a big spider here that's a raid thing? That's what we're going for. The answer is yes. Pick the stuff up. Place the guild banner. We're going to start moving our way to the west a little bit. Just follow Kit. I've got a mark around me. It's going to allow us to clear as we move. The one thing I will say about this expansion is it sure does fill up your inventory bags uh, real fast. There is a group near the edge. Okay, thank you. Okay, if you come over here to Kit... First of all, we're going to clear some uh, little clockworks here. There's a giant spider coming our way. Please don't move to the northwest any further. Kill those mobs quickly, because we may have to engage this. Uh, this mob has a, a conal AE in the front, so we'll need to turn it away from the raid. It's also got a couple of nasty AEs, but they're about 125 range. So if you're a caster or a, a ranged attack person, you want to make sure you stay away from this one. Kazuma, I'm going to put you up in front. Again, if you'll come over to Kit. See that big old ugly spider? Oh, somebody's... oh, good. Uh, 
there is also another pick of this, so in the event that we are able to defeat this, we will do the other pick as well. All right, let's make sure our tanks have uh, all the buffs they need. When we go in, Kazuma will turn it to the other side, so he's going to fight it on the other side. If you're a caster or a ranged DPS, uh, try to stay 120-ish uh, feet away or ticks away. In the event that uh, Kazuma should fall, Maladwin will pick it up. I will call for wards to be put down in just a moment, but we'll have to put them up a little closer to the raid target and then back out. All right, we're just going to give this a shot. Sorry, Mel, go ahead. Uh, heal or purity? Uh, heal. Yeah, heal. Sorry. Okay. All right, tanks form a front, please. He's coming this way. Kazuma, let's do it, buddy. you have to get him to a certain percent before he attacks again if you're a caster go ahead and drop our wards but let's back out of the way get the ads please looks like someone hail of arrows um pick those up Pick up the ads, please. Burn those ads down real quick. Pick up the ads as we move. Get dots on them. He does eventually turn and tack, from what I remember. If you're a tank, pick up those ads. Try to get dots on them. Alright, he's, he's engaged. Make sure you're a caster backing out. Keep Kazuma up. the DPS can split off and handle the ads. And pick up those ads and uh, DPS them down. You're doing great. 
straight, guys. That banner is down. Thank you to all those who donated. Flash, are you in this channel? Which flash? Bard or? Oh, sorry, flash the bard. By the way, there is a there are a couple of nasty AEs that are going to go off on Kazuma every now and then, just to keep an eye on him. He's tanking fine, but it's the AEs that are going to spike him. wants to turn on tribute, that's fine with me. I'm okay with using it here. He's got an awfully big butt. And I cannot lie. There are systems menders that are um, making their way to him. I, I think we need to kill them, or they will they will heal him. I think they caused the AOE to go off. Oh, is it the AOE? Okay. DA fired, or DI fired on Kazuma during that. Yeah, mine's still down for 10 more seconds. I got it. Pick up those ads as well, please. Do a little DPS on those, would be good. those repair and mender uh, bots are incoming. I think we'll do well to take care of those. I tried to hit him, he wouldn't even, couldn't even touch him. Keep it up, 18%. has the uh, purple club UI bug. So be gentle with him. <laughs> nice. That's rough. on it.
funny. It's funny, cats. Sucks, but it's funny. <laughs> Congrats on our first raid target. I think four pieces of loot and uh, six prototype decoders. That's a pretty good haul, right? All right, if everybody could gather up at the butt of the spider, please, where we put the guild hall basically up the spider's ass. Uh, wipe up Kazuma off the floor here if we could. Okay, we're going to go right down the line. The rules for tonight are pretty standard for Monday, but for those that don't know, here they are. You're allowed one loot tonight, one spell tonight. Uh, the progression items are completely separate from that. What are uh, the decoders for? They are part of progression. So everybody will need one. Um, you can get them at a, as a group version of a mob like this, but I figured since we've got a raid and we want to get some loot, uh, it's a pretty nice haul for uh, doing progression and getting loot. Let's please rebuff uh, Kazuma, please. And this is can and will use only, so you have to be the proper class, level requirement, etc., etc. I'm going to start with the Crushing Demolisher. You're allowed one loot, you're allowed one spell, unless it's going to rot. So far I see Sayo High. You do not have to be on that step. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's just a, a hand in. I believe it's just a turn in. Okay. Were you rolling on that? I don't think you can. Uh, Rutgers has offline members. Yep. Just Grant Sire. He's good now. Thank you. All right, we've got an earring for looks like uh, melees and hybrids. So sharpshooting and a Geo Mantra clicky. I believe I see Zenthal High. Absolutely. My roll sucked. Sorry. It sure did. You asked the wrong person, but you learned. It wasn't a Finlow roll. Uh, looks like uh, congrats, Simple. Uh, thank you. And just a reminder, if we can, we're going to do this again. We're going to do this in a separate pick if we can do it. Busting open world targets, week one. All right, doing the Leather Risk Guard. Good luck, Druids, Monks, Shaman. Sorry, Druids, Monks, Beast Lords? Don't ask me what I'm smoking. We have to be 80 to roll, right? Uh, if it's required level 80, yes. Unless no one um, rolls on it, but it looks like we've got a couple rolls there. I'm only 79. Take mine out. That doesn't matter. Lightning got me.
All right, grats, lightning. Again, in the event that anything goes to rot or nobody rolls on it, we'll back off of some of those rules, obviously. And for the casters in the uh, raid, looks like we've got a cold base focus. Any casters interested? I see no rolls. I'll open it up to non 80s. There are some non 80s that would like to roll on that. Anyone? Anyone? Speak now. I need a caster. It's going to go to Rod otherwise. Congrats, Damien. Okay, if I could have every main random a thousand, please. I'm going to do the decoders for a progression. Oh. Oh, this is going to be a lot to sort through, but I'll do my best. Well, you can eliminate my four. <laughs> I see Kalesi anyway. It's at nine. Nine eighteen. All right, Kalesi's definitely getting one. I think Zinthal's in the top of the pack there, as well as Finlil and Melite. Again, if it's if I'm not exact on this, we're going to do it again, so don't worry. I will make sure we get everybody all the pieces. Even if I have to personally camp this item with you and we're not doing a raid. Looks like Xavius is in there as well with an 813. Oh, and there's a Volkert. Who else am I? Uh, is near the top. It's like a Malad one, maybe? Yep, Malad one, I believe. And I actually did have that take a little bit of time because we had to get out of combat before we could pick. If you could please pick over to pick number nine, please. Pick number nine. Uh, love potion number nine. Uh, Ferris Bueller was absent nine times. Anything else? I think nine. all of those jokes miss cloud nine. Octa the Collector is up. And the other pick. We'll do this little spider again, but we will have to clear. So again, we're going to move forward and we're going to clear. If you could, let's clear along the way. Let's so the raid can catch up. Starting at those big gears, let's start clearing everything, please. We also get spells in here and faction hits. So if we could just start clearing everything. Kill all the things, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, sorry to those that were uh, not in groups. I will get you in a group in a second. I will also adjust groups. Again, we're going to clear this whole area and all of that area to the north since we know the spider is going to run around.
Uh, I see filthy, dirty gnomes. Wasn't that three times redundant? Yes, they're the ones that created the Department of Redundancy Department. I'm picking and it won't let me come over. I don't think this pick is full, but let me check. Nope. Or in are you in combat by chance? What's the message or reason it's giving you? It's a locked raid. I don't, that shouldn't cause a problem. And then it just says I'm currently in the zone. We could try putting the banner back down here. Yeah, it's down now. He may have to go back to uh, the guild lobby. Sorry, guild hall. All right, I'll try that. Yeah, sorry, Lan. I'm not sure why it did that. And again, if you could come up to Kit to the south, we're just going to clear all this stuff because we know the spider is going to roam around. Looks like there may be another group over there. Yeah, there's a group to the southeast. We're taking all their mobs. What are we going to do? Again, make sure you're not stealing from their camp over there. I'm going to start uh, clearing to the southwest and then west. There may be another. Opened another pick. Stand by. He's in a much different location, so if you could come far south, uh, northwest, please. Far northwest once those are dead.
Let's have SK tank it this time. All right, finish up that ad. Octa is coming closer. Okay, SK, whenever you're ready, let's start uh, getting the dots and debuffs on them, please. We have begun. Remember, it's going to take off and we'll have to pick up all the ads. There it goes. Pick up the ads. It's running like crazy. It's running right for our banner. Alright, Zagreb. I think it knows that it has no backup in this area. Wards down, if you could, please. So since we spawned a new pick, does that mean we get to do it a third time? I think so. That's a lot of loot for tonight, isn't it? Seems worthwhile. Yeah, I figured um, this would be a good use of our time. And this was just my little minor uh, thing I wanted to do today. I still got more stuff planned. Again, SK is going to spike a bit because of the AEs that go off. Just keep an eye on them. Yeah, I fired. Halfway through. Good job. Looks like the robots are starting. Just watch the AEs. Oof, I feel like we're getting more AEs. Maybe we're just killing him faster.
seems to get spikier as the fight goes on. Am I wrong? Landholder, you got here okay and everything, right? Yes, thanks. Okay, yeah, sorry, I forgot to check back in on you. Well done, everyone. Is that the exact same loot table? Oh, nope, slightly different. The only thing different is the gloves. Okay, gather around the spider, please, for loot. Again, just a reminder of the rules. Can and will use only means you have to meet the requirements for the item. Uh, you're allowed one item, one spell. Uh, the pro any other progression items are completely separate. Uh, Jesse Kudu, anyone else? See Kasir High. Kudu, I think you had slightly better roll that time. <laughs> All right, Gratz Kasir. All right, another earring. Good luck, folks. Flash and Mountain both got 981. Can Flash use? Yes, he can. Yep, they both can. All right, it's a roll off. Flash and Mala, if you could please, random a thousand. You sure, Flash? I don't think Flash meets the 30. Oh, never mind. Never mind. All right, grads, Mala. Thank you, Flash. It's good to see you, by the way. All right, Druid's Monk's Shaman. We've got another uh, Bracer here. Is Aragar the only... Nope, there's two Shamans on the raid. Um, either of you Shaman need that? I've got it already. Cal's AFK a minute. She didn't seem interested, but if no one else has taken it. So far, I have no rolls on the steel leaded leather wrist guard. Anybody? I think it's Gratz me. Yeah, Gratz Kit. I'm not level 80 either. All right, we've got uh, chain gloves this time. Good luck. I gave Khaleesi that spell so she can loot that. I 
I see Finlow, I believe. Anybody else? Congrats, Finn. Thanks, so. Wow, 10 heroic decks on one item. Okay, for those that did not get a prototype decoder last time, or need this prototype decoder, if you could random a thousand, please. Will take me a moment to sort it, and I can't promise you it'll be 100% accurate, but I promise you we'll get everybody everything they need. Looks like Zing. Someone help me sort. Spider looks pretty good. Flashpoint's 849. Lambent in the 8s. Clerical 791. Zing is definitely in. Flash. Spider in 861. Deep fried rolled 10. If you have more, I think Clara would be in. Right, did you mean to roll a 10? Again, if I gave you a uh, prototype decoder, make sure you loot it, please. I still have one more left. Who's left? Uh... After Clara... Looks like Dora. Did Zing get one? Yeah, pretty sure Zing got one. Yeah, I got one. Dora, then Flash. Okay, if we could head into Fortress Mechanotus 10, please. We're going to pick over to 10. We're going to do it one more time. Isn't this kind of exploiting, kid? Hmm, no. Just joking. Uh, it looks like some of us are still in combat, so give us a moment to get over there. Loot those pieces of scrap metal from Lambent. It's a pre-lootable progression piece. Do we need more than one of each piece? I feel like they need to sell me more bags if they're going to do this in an expansion. Again, when you get a moment... Get a moment. Sorry. Please head over to uh, Fort Mech number 10, please. Just pick over to 10. They added a perk that you can get an additional inventory slot. For $2 a month. Two oh, it's not even a, like a, a single purchase. Smart. Well, it's a slot. It's not a bag. It's to put a bag in. I thought it was two slots. We're going to head along the wall here this time, just because he's kind of tucked in the same corner. So if you could come to Kit, please. I'm along the wall. Clear everything, please. I will replace the banner as well. see if we got everybody in here yeah it looks like we got everybody in this pick now i don't know if or when this pick will shut down so i want us to move somewhat quickly it shouldn't shut down with all of us here just keep working on those we're gonna head due west More filthy, dirty gnomes incoming. We've done two kills. We've gotten eight pieces of loot, 12 progression items, and it's not even an hour in. You forgot tender and juicy for the gnomes. Uh, some of them look kind of sickly. Yeah, I'm de definitely not tender or juicy. Mm. 
most of them have been overly smoked. This could all just be a crazy enchanter who has a mass group buff. Looks like there's a lot in the center of the raid here. This is a necro wake the dead queen. For you beam casters, this is uh this is your kind of deal here. Uh, we are going southwestish, please. Southwestish across the big plateau. I'm going to clear a few of these. Okta is south southwest from our current location. Let's have Tyran tank it this time, please. Keep moving up. Pull adds. Bring them down. Does the lag seem better in this instance? Yeah, I think somebody was uh, barred kiting or something in the first one. Keep moving south. Clear everything along this wall. Octa's coming our way. Okay, let's get Tyrion on this. Let's begin debuffs and be ready to run with it. I think after two times you guys know how to do this now. Resetting the banner. Why is he down for three more minutes? Okay. He became active, I believe, at 95 last time, so just ready, be ready for it. And we're on the move. All right, looks like he's uh, aggroed now. Of those items that we got, which ones were the best of Octa so far? That earring seems to be the most impressive. Yeah, having the Type 3 is pretty cool for it. The gloves that Finlow Fintel, got. Did, did, did that item have the uh, Type 3 on it? It's got 10 heroic decks. Oh, I meant the earring. Was That one had a Type 3? Yeah, the earring has a Type 3. Nice. You can put those focus shards in that. Um, I don't have one to link, but they're they're pretty nice. I think some of them like extend detrimental duration, so like it'll make enchanter mezes last longer, dots last longer. I think some help out on healing on specific spells. Looks like wards have another minute and a half or so. When they're up, just go ahead and pop them down.
We can't just kill Octa all night. I mean, we could, but... This is a big zone. I'm not sure 36 is enough to spawn. I mean, how many, how many more kills shall we all get a piece? Yeah, I fired it again. Ooh, I timed out there. Wards should be coming up if you can drop your ward when it pops. more percent. By the way, when we do stuff like this, if you guys find it super helpful or super fun and I don't hit it enough, let me know. I, I This actually was much better than I thought it was going to be with all the loot we're getting tonight. But I do have lots more stuff planned for us. It's fun. Good job on that, everybody. Looks like a new set of pauldrons for casters. That's different. But we did get the earring all three times. Just remember, if you've already uh, looted an item, you are out for the rest of the night, unless nobody wants it. I can finish up those ads and tighten up around the uh, rear of the spider, please. Getting loot, starting with the earring. Good luck, folks. So far, I see Raleigh High. Someone confirm? Yep, 721. Hey, congrats, Raleigh. Doing the mantle now. Mantle for casters, priests, and pure casters. Ooh, 
lots of high rollers there. Looks like Dora, I believe. Again, I haven't been keeping track of loot, so if somebody loots something and they've already looted something, please remind me. You're allowed one item tonight. Congrats, Dora. Looks like we got leather gloves. Good luck, leather gloves. I see no leather gloves. I'll remove the restrictions for anyone that hasn't won anything yet. I'll remove the required 80 restrictions if anybody wants to roll. Last call. Grats by tour. Oh wait, yep, Grats by tour. Thanks, team. Looks like another one of these chain bracers. Good luck on the chain bracers. Or was it chain gloves we had last time? Were they swapped? Gloves last time. All right, Chain Bracer, if anybody wants to roll in the Chain Bracer. I'll remove the restriction if anybody wants to roll on it. Grats Khaleesi. And finally, if I could get folks that have not won a prototype decoder, if you could random a thousand, please. Random a thousand. Click Aragard 921. I see a Malaman at 861, 881. Someone help me out. Looks like a Kassir at 891. You said low rolls, right? Mm, I don't think so. Hey, Raleigh came in lowest. Had to do it. Who else am I missing here? Someone help me with rolls. Flash and Noom are both at uh, 834 plus. I see a Khaleesi at 861. Is that the right? Or was that the previous roll? Yes. Yeah. Khaleesi already has one. Got it. Thank you. Is that a turn-in item? Uh, yes, it will be a turn-in item. Hey, Flash, how uh, Flash the Bard? How seriously are you on uh, playing? I'll assign you one if you're gonna if you're gonna play and progress. I've I've lost track. Is it is it Numu next? Did I miss Numu? Yes.
Okay. If I mix stuff up and got it out of order, um, that's fine. Don't worry. We're going to probably end up doing this again. Just want to confirm we didn't open up another pick, and it doesn't look like we did. Okay, now we are going to head back to the east, please. We are going to do, uh, actually scratch that. We're going to head to the southeast and fall off the edge. We're going to go back into steam font. If you could just please go to the edge of the zone. Come to kit. Bombs away. Jump over the edge. Run, my little lemmings. It made me laugh a little too much with that. Again, if you get uh, ads, just go ahead and jump off the edge. We're just gonna we're gonna skip the ads. Thank you to those that are holding onto the ads for us. If you don't have love or safe fall, this might hurt. Oh yeah, forgot about that part. Again, if you're still in the zone, southeast, please. And let's make sure everybody gets out of the zone. Southeast and jump off the edge. This isn't that high up. Oh, well, it's where that secondary splat point is. Can I set my secondary splat point? You call that your husband, don't you? <laughs> For those that didn't get the prototype decoders, that is a mob that you can also get in a group form as well. You don't have to have a raid uh, to do that piece. There's a raid version and a group version, and they're exactly the same. I just figured we'd do the raid version while we're here. Okay, is there anybody that's not with us inside Steam Font? Hopefully we're all in the same pick. We're going to go up into Steam Font, please, if we could. You're going to hang a right to the west and then hang a right, please. And for those that have already done this or gone this way, go ahead over into Loping Plains as well, straight across. So is there going to be kind of some lore about this stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, I can throw in some lore. So by the way, that big uh, fortress that we were in, Fortress Mechanotus uh, was built by Meldrath. Uh, Meldrath's majestic mansion is in the center of that fortress. He is actually a twin. They were conjoined twins. And uh, Bristlebane, of course it would have to be Bristlebane, he came along and uh, provided a sword to the mom that would split the conjoined twins in half. One of the twins was a good twin, and one of the twins turned into an evil bad twin. But they were both known as Meldrath. Uh, we are going to Loping Plains. We're going to hold at the Fangbreakers camp, please. Holding at the Fangbreakers camp. I am ally to Fangbreakers. Hello, Fred. Thank you. I believe Zing is also allied to Fangbreakers. Malaman is too. I think oh. these are the easiest ones to be allied with. So for a moment here, before we move any further, we're going to do a little spell swap meet. So uh, there's lots of spells that are locked behind Fangbreakers. I see Arc of Arrows, Aurora of, uh, of Morrow, looks like a Paladin spell. Bite of the Borrower, Eleventh Hour, Flash Flames, Howl at the Moon. Scales of the Reptile for any Druids. Your new Reptile upgrade is here. Again, it's locked behind um, Faction, so if you don't have the Faction for it, you'll need to get someone that is ally to purchase it for you. Just going to allow a moment. If you need to get a drink, if you're not getting a spell, or if you need to look up a spell, we're going to take about five minutes here just to kind of work all that out.
the prices on the spells are anywhere from about 1k to I think that paladin spell was 5k. What's the vendor that has the spells on him? Uh, his name is Derek Fangbreaker. I'll mark him. I also see a Berserker Tome at 80 and a Warrior Tome at 80. What Warrior Tome? Do any clerics need 11th hour rank too? How much is the Berserker Tome? Berserker Tome is 6,300 platinum, just shy of 6,400 platinum. Who can pick that up for me? If you got the money, I'll grab it. Grab it. Uh, the Warrior Tome Knuckle Smash is 7,700 platinum. Stand by, folks. I'm buying a lot of different spells. Hang on. All right. If you uh, sent me a tell for spells, I'm going to be over here to the north. Just come to Kit. I think I have one from Aladwin, SK, Dora, and Aragar. Um, I'll catch up here in just a second. Uh, Numu, I have one for you as well. You can come see Kit. Hang on a second. Don't don't hand me don't hand me money yet, please. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Once I hand you a spell, if you can hand me money. Do you know how much? The Druid was pretty cheap. It was like uh, 1800, 1700, something like that. Aragar, I don't remember the price. I want to say it was in the 6k range. Here and I'll have to get uh, one for you. Just give me a second. Yeah, there are others that are available to purchase, so if you guys want to reach out to others so we don't uh, waste time on me trying to do a million of them. It looks like I also got a Tome of Shimmering Silhouette for a Monk, level 76. Yeah, you picked up off of one of those mobs back yonder. Do a uh, do monks need that? Does any monk need that? Ooh. By the way, we also picked up a couple of lobies the other day. I know um, sometimes lobies it's difficult to get them to stick around, but uh, treat them right. Let's make sure we uh, keep them around. Randoming that tone. Any other monks need it? If no other monks need it, I'll give it to Lit. Come and get a Lit. Uh, I'm trying to find you. I'm over to the north. Green guy, fox hat. I usually turn everything off during raid. 5'10. 160 pounds. Okay, if I missed an item for you, uh, send me a tell if you haven't gotten to someone else to buy it. Thank you, Tyrion. On my way.
Anybody else need anything else before we move on? Go ahead, uh, Malai one. Thank you to all that also um, helped buy some of those spells. That helps our guild, and uh, when we work together like this, it makes us all better. Love you guys. Okay, um, get any refreshes on buffs. We're going to try something a little different now. Make sure you have a levitate. If you don't have levitate, make sure you get it from someone or uh, send Kitatel. I'll cast um, Flying uh, Spirit of Eagle on you. You can head to Blood Moon Keep. Uh, click the door. It should give you a yes or no option. If you're not familiar with where Blood Moon Keep is, straight west from the uh, area that we're in. Over these trees, make sure you're levitating, because if you're not levitating, you'll start to aggro some zombies. Almost due west, you'll notice a big uh, manor on the hill. That's where all the were-orcs are. Yes, they are were-orcs. They are orcs that turn into werewolf orcs. Do they uh, become a gnome after that? Would certainly be a step down, wouldn't it? Like Super Saiyan 3, kind of. If you get a yes no box when you click the uh, door to Blood Moon Keep, just say yes, please. They end up warping and go under, going under the uh, world. That's why we call them Were Orcs, because you have no idea where they are. Welcome to Blood Moon Keep. Um, while everybody is getting here, uh, I'm going to AFK a second. If there are folks that don't know where you're going, please help them get here. Be right back. One minute. Has anyone else got stuck in this zone after trying to levitate over the trees? No one I know. Unless. I do that constantly in POK. Just me then. You can hit rewind. Sometimes it helps. Uh, I was way too far gone for that. I landed on a mountain and couldn't get down off of it. Oh I was God. outside of the grid. How we doing? Is anybody lost? Anybody not know where to go? No, I'm just behind. Do we just go in the same door we would for the normal instance? Yes, you'll get a uh, yes no box. Just click yes. Okay, so just a, a little note for folks. This is not part of progression. This is just a raid that uh, is 
just on the side. Um, it is a series, so I actually had to complete five group tasks, excuse me, six, was it five group tasks? Five group tasks uh, to get to be able to request this raid. So thanks to those that were helping us uh, over the last few days do that. There are a few progression raids that we'll be hitting uh, starting on Wednesday. One is called Deep Scar, which is a big minotaur. And one is called Big Ben, which is a big robotic dragon. We'll have to hit those multiple times because like that prototype decoder, you'll also need an item off of that guy. I'll go through that on Wednesday. For now, enjoy this nice raid zone. It is a little bit tougher than those fights, so we'll see how we do. Again, this is not a part of progression. This is just for fun and loot. And let's go ahead and check rebuffs on all the tanks and everybody in the raid, make sure we have everything we need. Uh, Enchanters, I'm going to put you to work. Uh, please acknowledge that you hear me and you're ready to go. Yes, I hear you. All right, the first orc that we're going to kill, his name is Vestin Wolfpaw. The faster we can kill him, uh, the less DPS he'll do. He, his DPS will increase every 30 seconds or so. Uh, we will need a Rampage tank. He has lots of hit points. He'll have adds uh, about every quarter of the fight, so 75%, 50%, 25%. Any wargs we're going to mez. Any orcs that are adds, we're going to quickly kill. All right, Zinth will be our rampage tank. Uh, Malawan, I'm going to put you right up front for uh, Vestin. It's possible we may need to eventually uh, start working down some of the wargs because the enchanters will have 12 to mez by the end. Enchanters, do you think you can handle holding 12 mez, the two of you together? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So again, we will mez the wargs. We will kill the orcs. And we'll try to go fast as we can on DPS on Vestin. I believe he's to the west door. Uh, did we lose Beep? We lost Beep, didn't we? Uh, Kasir, can you take a quick little peek there to the west? Looks like some trash. About six orcs and then this, uh, what's his best name? Vestlin. Okay, let's clear some orcs then. Pick these up, folks. If you've never seen the were orcs, it is kind of cool the way they turn into were orcs. The ragers will do an AoE silence, by the way. It's just not very large. At least they do in the instance. Uh, we've lost our main assist. Do I have a volunteer? You can give it to Zing. Thank you, Zing. I'll also adjust that uh, DPS group. Oh, by the way, stun those clerics. They do have a complete heal. And it's like a big complete heal. Everything else was in the room with Vesson. Uh, do we want to see if we can maybe get a? Um... Well, I don't want to. I don't want to engage him because I don't know if it'll start the timer.
What about this rager? Incoming. How many volunteers up there to see if they can pull the last one without getting Vesson? Good try. Good stuff. And don't aggro him though, because if you do, you'll start the timer, or at least it's possible you could. Oh, are all the assassins in SOS before we engage? Unknown. Do um Yes, the assassins were SOS in all the group missions. It's funny they don't show up on tracking either. Now uh, you kind of got to know where they are. And... They show up on extended target. Pick these up. Let's burn these down. Nice pull, by the way. Thank you. I got lucky. You walked the other way. Hopefully you guys are having fun tonight. I know I am. This is good. I feel like we've already done pretty well. We got, what, 12 pieces of loot? Uh, 18 prototype decoders? A couple of spells? And swap, did a spell swap? That's pretty good. Be ready to stun that cleric. Looks like that room is empty. There may be more assassins on the left sand side. I didn't check. Okay, I think I think we're good. Move up to kit, but do not pass. In the event that we get an orc um, initially when we engage, just uh, kill him first, please. Again, Zenthal will uh, aggro first to take the rampage, and then Malawin will tank. Should be a straight up melee fight. We just want to kill him as quickly as possible. Adds at 75, 50, 25. Mezzing the wargs, killing the orcs. DPS will need to switch to the orcs. Zinthal, whenever you're ready. All right, let's do this. Heals to Malawan, please. Get him debuffed. His DPS will increase every 30 seconds. The fight gets harder. We need more heals as the fight goes on. Adds at 75. Tanks be ready to pick them up, but don't damage them until enchanters can get the wargs under control. Pick up the orcs, though. Looks like we got two adds. Pick those up, kill them, please. I think they came out of the door. Burn them quick. Wow. 
Well done. Ads incoming shortly. Mezzing the wargs. Watch your reins if we get uh, mezzed wargs. Kill the wolf collars. Wolf collars need to die. Switch DPS to Wolf Collars, please. Those are the orcs. Wargs will stay mezzed. No more rains this fight. I see a lot of wargs getting broken. Pallies, can you push wargs to the southwest corner, please? Or anybody that can push without damaging. Again, we're killing the Wolf Collars. to root, just FYI. One of them got broken in this corner. Be careful, make sure you're not breaking wargs. We need one in the back pushed into the corner. There will be more adds at 50. Same thing. Four wargs, two wolf callers. Kill the two wolf, wolf callers. Like we got an orc ad from the hall. Malawan is he trucking on you yet? Uh, Be ready for more ads. Wards down, please. Ads are up. No more defensive discs for a while. Kill the wolf collars, please. Kill the wolf collars. DPS would switch to the orcs, please. Wolf collars. Watch your reins. No reins, please. see one orc up to the north and thank you for splitting them like that let's push the wargs to the southwest we'll pull the orcs out to the north just like we've been doing next set of ads will be at 25 we'll get four more wargs and two more orcs Burn the orcs quickly. We want to get this guy down as fast as possible. You want to kill ads or just off tank? Um, how hard are they hitting? Not very hard, and they're perma stunnable. Yeah, we'll burn. We'll burn. So DPS, you'll stay on Vestin, please. Off tanks, pick up the orcs, hold on to them. Remember, we're going to mez the wargs, mezzing the wargs. 
If you're a healer, keep your eye on Xavius and Lynx just in case. All right, burn them as fast as you can. More wargs incoming. Burn them hard. Khaleesi's down. Calling. Somebody call Raleigh, please. Five percent. Come on, we can do it. The ads do not deep hop follow your assist after this. Let's get the wolf collars uh, debuffed. Follow your assist. Wolf collars first, please. That's the orcs. Nice job, Enchanters. Just keep uh, keep them held until we uh, go through them one by one. Follow your assist, please. seem to have quite a bit of hit points, so I'm glad we went the Mez route. Enchanters, on a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult was it to do that? Could you give me a sense? Oh, I don't know, a 5. Okay, just checking. If you don't use your um, self buff, that's uh, a proc, a uh, mez proc. That's really good here. Okay, that was just the first part of this uh, raid. Got to finish up these wargs, and then the hard fight is actually still ahead. We have 35, so I think we'll be able to do it, but we'll see. While we're finishing up these ads, um, 
I'm gonna lab one or Zenthal, and you guys can chat in officer, however you want to set it up. I need uh, two tanks with backups. Depending on how quickly we finish this raid, um, it's possible I will bring us on to one more raid. Um, there's actually three in this series. Uh, this is the first raid, uh, this whole task. There's a second raid beyond this, and then a final third raid in which you kill the, the big mean were-orc leader. We get all good factions here? I don't know if there are any faction hits here. I don't believe there are. possible by the way that I will put these on a raid night. I'm I'm going to put us pretty heavily into SOF now. Um so I'm I I just want us to it seems like the loot is pretty on quality with Solteris. That's not to say I won't do a Solteris raid on a Monday. Um I'll chat with the officers see if we need to put it on a regular raid night, but I think we all are having pretty good fun in uh, SOF. Okay, we're going to med here a second. Check your buffs. Let's refresh those, especially on, uh, who did we lose there? Raleigh and Khaleesi. Night Thrombosis, thanks for coming. Again, we'll see how time looks once we're done here. I try to end Mondays a little bit earlier, and we've already gotten a pretty good amount of loot, so we'll see how this fight goes. We're going to have two big orcs. There's actually three brothers up ahead, uh, but one is a wimp, and he runs away. Uh, the other two we're going to fight, but we have to balance them down. Now, we're good at balance fights, so I expect you guys to keep them nice and tightly balanced. The brother that runs away is actually the one we fight in the final raid. For those that are curious, this is called Blood Moon number one. The Fanged Moon is the name of the task, but it's Blood Moon raid number one. There's Blood Moon raid number two and number three. Yeah, we don't get loot in this raid until the very end. All right, Zinthal's assigned some tanking. We'll have Wilnock and Galrin. I'm 
Malawan will be the tank for Wilnock with Kazma as the backup. Tyrion will be the tank for Galrin with Volkert as the backup. I don't believe there's anything special about him, but let me check. Uh, there may be ads during the fight, and we're going to kill ads as we go. Check your buffs. Is there anybody that still needs time for endurance or mana? I mean, I can wait until we get into out of combat. I just want to check. I can use endurance. Okay, yeah, we'll wait till we get into out of combat. We have to keep these within just a few percent of each other. If they get out of balance, we have to start the whole thing over again. So, I mean, let's keep them within a percent of each other if we could. We're really good at balancing, so let's uh, see if we can keep that going. In the event that we win this fight, from what I understand, I believe there's four loots that come from this fight. Um, potentially legs or chest of the same steel threaded that we just got uh, from uh, the spider. Uh, potentially two runes, uh, raid runes. That'll be for rank threes. I think the rank threes are directly uh, direct turn in. So you turn in that rune and I think you get it back. But there may be some questing that it's locked behind. But I have to, I have to read up on that. While we're waiting on out of combat, um, the runes are divided up a little bit differently. It's kind of like the TSS runes where you turn them in and you get them in an order. Uh, but they're broken down. So I think all of the level 76s are a certain type of rune. Uh, the 77s, 78s are a type of rune. Uh, and the 79s and 80s are a type of rune. I believe that's how it's set up. Yes, that's how it works. And there's a rune conversion device, so that's you trench them. Yeah, so you can downgrade. So if you win a level 7980 rune, you can actually downgrade it to the 7778 one if you want it. I have a feeling if we go a little further in the expansion and are only getting the, the higher end ones, people may want to convert some of them. Okay. I'm going to need those four tanks, Malawan, Kazuma, Tyrion, and Volkert, uh, up to the front, please. Please go to the head of the class. Sorry, Kate, you're going to have to move to the back of the room and the other side of the room and tell us to go to the back.
we weren't the good kids in class. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who am I missing up here? Do I have everybody? Tanks up front, please. Or maybe some minor clearing up ahead. Yep, let's pull those down, please. You can fight them in the hallway, it doesn't matter. Uh, technically, I have about a half dozen left on tracking, so there's probably a few more in the way. You have a SOS scene buff, right? I do, but I'll have to pop outside to check it. Let me do that real quick. I can only cast it outdoors, so let me run outside and cast it real quick. Oh, I, it's not going to matter. Yeah. Well, the two right inside there. Come on up. Pick these up. Let's burn them down. Two more incoming. Oh, they've aggroed. In and right, please. In and right. Pull them in and right. Didn't realize they would immediately aggro. Pull them out. In and right, please. In and right. Get those tanks on them. Keep your tanks up. Get them debuffed, please. Don't DPS yet, please. Hold them. Hold them at 99. Hold them at 99. Let's just get them debuffed first. They've got to be balanced. All right, let's start to bring them down slowly, please. 98. I mean, I want them within a percent of each other, so don't let one get out ahead of the other. Keep it going, slow and steady. If you're on the lower percent, back out. There you go. Ease them down. All we got to do is do this and we win. Kill the ads, please. Switch to ads. Hold at 91. All DPS switch to ads. Holding at 90. I'm not going to call the percents, but keep them within... Oh, it looks like Numa was charmed there. Keep them within a percent of each other. By the way, if you notice up there, there's crush bone orcs that are uh, being converted. They're the ones that are converted into were orcs. They're out of balance. Let them catch up. There we go. Good job. More ads. Hold them at 82. Hold them at 81. Let's go ahead and put our wards down, please. And keep easing them down, please. Keep them within a percent.
Ads, switch to ads, please. Hold them at 70. New moves down. Pressing. He died again. I'm not sure how. Keep easing him down. Balance him. Is there a rampage or an AE rampage that's going off? Rutgers is down. He got feared into the enemies. I see. Probably will have more ads at 60. They seem to be every 10%. Could you give me an MGP, please? Good Thank you. Doing great, just keep them balanced. Eric, Gar, give me an MGP, please. I used it a little while ago to rebuff focus. No worries. Khaleesi, if you have one, can you hit it for me? Coming. Melite, if you have one, hit yours. Door, go ahead and hit yours, please. Keep them balanced. That one, could you give me an MGB, please? Claire, if your MGB is up, hit it now, please. Could you go open that chest? Make sure you check it for uh, for being trapped, please. We are going to have a bunch of haunts over there as well. We need to uh, clear first. I'll handle that AUG in just a second. I don't know if that was just a normal... I think it's a rare, a zone-wide rare. 
think we just got lucky. I need some pallies to pull some of those if they could. You want to kill everything? Um. Yeah, why not? Pick them up. There's a lot. It's a pants party. A charming pants party. Okay, stand by, please. I'm actually going to start from the bottom and work my way up. I believe those are level 76 runes. I'll look them up while you're starting stuff. All right, plate pants. We'll start with plate pants. Yeah, confirm they are 76 spells. Thank you. If no one is uh, able to roll or interested in rolling, I'll open it up to people that have already won. But for now, we'll see if anybody is going to roll in those pants. I see Landholder, last call. Grats Land. Leather Pants. Chaps, if you'd like. Last call for first rolls. I see no rolls. I'll open it up to anyone. Anyone, even if you've already um, won. I think it's me. Yes. Looks like you, Grassman. Um What ferocity do you have, Zing? Oh, I have a better ferocity. It's just aren't these the ones that you can actually upgrade them to tier four much, much lower? I, I think so, yeah. I think all of the steel studded. But it would go to Bitor though, I think. No, I'll pass to Zing. Let me let me come back to him and see if I want to hold on to him. Yeah, if nothing else, I'd like to roll on the charm later, so. I'll do the charm now. I'll take the top two rolls. 
for those that have already that have not already won. Base damage of the primary slot weapon. Interesting. I think I see Ranger. Oh, I see a dot one. Was that on this? Yes. Yes, it was. Looks like I see Ranger and dot one. Someone confirm? Confirm. Congrats, you two. These are spell runes, so if you won loot earlier, it does not count. These are spell runes for level 76. You must be 76 to roll on these. These would be rank 3. You do get them in a certain order, so it'll be the order in which you get them. Um, it's, it's decided already what you get. Uh, let's see. Help Someone help me sort through here. I think I see Aragar... And Xavius? So I think a couple 900s. I see Coyote. Aragars at 962. And Xavius 941. Aragar and Xavius. Thank you. Grats Aragar, Grats Xavius. Um, you can either look those up or if you need help with that, just uh, let me know. Thank you. Still have a uh, leftover AUG. Notice the slots it goes in. Anybody that hasn't won loot yet wants to roll on that, go for it. Anyone? Anyone, Bueller? I don't think I saw any rolls on that. So I'll open it up to anybody. Anybody that wants to roll. Even if you've already won loot. Uh, Zing and Vitor just stick around. I'm, I will settle those pants here in a second. I think we can all get into my pants. Uh, Grats Lightning. I'm sorry. I'm busy laughing here. <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you very much for a fun raid. I'm going to call it there. Um, I, we just There's no reason to keep going. But we got how many pieces of loot tonight? 16 pieces of loot, two runes, 18 prototype decoders, and a partridge in a pear tree? No, we had uh, more loot because we had the augs. Thank you all so much. That was a lot of fun. And my charm gave me a slot three so I could put that og that I just bought in walking planes. Absolutely, yeah, nice. Zing, I think I'm going to keep the pants. Do it. Do we have a tail? The focus on it uh, is pretty good, and I'll, I'll show you what I have. Yeah, until it's upgraded to tier four, it'll just be sitting in my bank. Don't forget to turn your tribute off. It has to be upgraded to tier 3 before you can do tier 4. That's also true. Also, that armor levels up to the one you want. Yeah, I think the next step you get a gyro core to put into it, and it turns it into raid armor even better. But I don't think you have to have the, the raid piece below it. You can, you can buy something else, but it's something ridiculous like 20k platinum. You can you can just get a gyro core and buy the armor piece to fit it. Thank you. Yeah. You can also swap gyro cores to other classes. It's like thirty k to do it. Again, I hope you guys had a good time tonight. That was really rewarding and really actually a lot of fun. Um, we'll keep working on it. I'll uh, make some adjustments to the raid schedule, but uh, we'll do progression on Wednesday. Lots of fun raids there too. 
Thanks, kid. Absolutely. Hey, I'm glad uh, you guys came along. I know sometimes Mondays you guys aren't able to join us, but I'm glad you were able to. All right, folks, I'm off for a uh, three-hour drive to Indy. I will see you all over the next couple of days. All right, I'll bye. Drive sir. safe. Drive safe.